Jesus Christ. Emmanuel TV, changing lives, changing nations, changing the world. God's word, the standard for life with Prophet TB Joshua. Come on, brothers, draw me close to you. Draw me close to you. I need to get closer and closer to you, Lord. Never let me go. I'll hold on to you until you bless me, yeah. and disease I'm your friend and I I'm your friend and I 
Thank you, Jesus. You may be seated. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We shall take our reading from that book of Roman. Are you there? Roman 10. I will take the reading from verse 9. That you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Verse 10 For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation hallelujah this will lead you to the title believe and confess let someone say believe and confess yes Paul preached the word of faith to the people in Rome, he told them that this well is in two places. In their heart, they believe. In their mouth, they confess. This scripture tells us that confession is part of salvation just as believing is part of salvation let someone say believe and confess i can hear you hallelujah there are two places believe and confess confession is part of salvation just as believing is part of salvation in that verse 10 you take your time to read you say for with the heart one believes unto salvation This means, for with the heart, man act on God's will. He said, for with the heart, one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Means, the heart acts and that drives the lips to confess for with the act man acts 
on the wares. What is confession? Confession is saying what God has said in His word to a certain thing. It is agreeing with God. It is saying the same thing the scripture says. Let someone say, believe and confess. I can't hear you. Lord, I believe. Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. The book of Titus, chapter 3, 
let's quickly look at verse 8 there. This is a faithful saying. And these things I want you to affirm constantly. Take note of that. That those who have believed in God should be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable to men. These things are good and profitable to men. It is common, especially the so many in the church take note of that. It is common especially the so many in the church to profess to try to cast out evil spirits you know what I mean by trying to cast out evil spirits not as those who have veneration not as those who have confidence in the Lord. A man may be a Christian in profession and not such in heart. A man may be a pastor in profession and not such in heart. Many of us that are here today remember we are not confessing failure but many of us we find ourselves in the realm of failure. You never confessing failure, but you find yourself in the realm of failure. This shows that a man may be a Christian in profession and not such in heart. The book of Matthew 12, verse 34. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Mouth actually reveals what is in the heart. Mouth actually reveals what is in the heart. If you are not such in heart, you say you are a Christian and you are not such in heart, your confession will prove this because our confession solves problems. Our confession gives possession. Our confession solves problem. Our confession gives possession let's all right so let's open your lips with faith in your heart I'm working with the Lord therefore my battle is not a personal challenge but the Lord's open your mouth and begin to confess this Will 
Thank you, thank you. You may be seated. Yes, as a Christian, your battle is not a personal challenge, but of Lord. So leave it for God. Tell your neighbor. Tell your neighbor once again. I can hear you. Yes, your battle is not a personal challenge but the loss remember when David and Goliath had an encounter he said to him look this battle is not of me but of the Lord so the reason why you are you are you are weighed down you are worried you are, you, I mean, because you believe by your ability and your power, this can bring result. And the Bible says, these things are not brought to pass by anything done by us. Therefore, all boasting is excluded. There is no room for any man boasting of his own ability and power. You are working with the Lord. Your battle 
is not a personal challenge but of the Lord. If I'm talking to you, let me see your hand. I, I know that will give you a great relief. Thank you. Hallelujah. There is a, a man just at the last church there. You put on white. You came back from a funny country. Come out. You are seeing your, your dead father. And this your dead father is in, into court. Secret society. He wanted to carry out his job as court. Please come out. Now you put on white. Your father is in a strong court whether you like it or not he has initiated you already but it's late because you are beginning to see your father face to face like that any moment from now if not the deliverance you begin the work guys stand up for you to know what i'm, so what I'm talking about i'm not just calling you out this is light this is darkness see me i'm turning back to you if i shout here it will affect him there in the name of jesus christ <laughs> so i'm not just calling him out for calling say maybe i've i'm i'm aware I know he has a problem and I just stand in the public and begin to call him. No. If I know that problem and I publicly call him, can also handle him like this? It's not. When God gives you, he will give you a solution. The message from God will call you out and will push solution. So to tell you, she said there is a man inside you. A man inside you. So this is the man I want to drive out so that you get free you see this man your father is dead now but it's 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 operating through you even when you are in the overseas you are see you see him you only see him when you move you see your father can we hear from brother man of god what you said is true i came back from china i have been there for 18 years and then I kept on seeing my father in the dream, warning me to come and take the seat every time. Uh, with the uh, other seven men saying that unless I come to take the seat. Which seat? The seat in the, in the secret court. Clap for Jesus Christ. This is why we are here. If there's any problem you have, like uh, you are sick, whatever sickness, HIV, cancer, doctor can still assist you, treat you, give you AIDS. But the doctor cannot double to this. They may not be able to, but they will treat you, they will manage you, they will help you, give you good treatment. Yes, but in this case now, it's purely spiritual. This is the area you need man or girl for. something beyond human comprehension that nobody can double to that this is what you need man of God for and that is the area we know our calling we know who is who this is the battlefield Can you tell us your name and where you come from? My name is Matthias Nzewi. I am from Anambra State. Uh, thank you very much. In the course of the first service, there was a message of prophecy from the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, to you. Can you tell us what he said to you in the prophecy? He said that there was a man putting up uh, white and white down there, uh, that he's been seeing his father's spirit, so many that I should come out. And then I came up. There is a, a man just 
at the last church there, you put on white. You came back from a foreign country. Come out. You are seeing your, your dead father. And this, your dead father, is in, into court, secret society. He wanted to carry out his job as court. Please come out. And my father was in a court before he died, even when he was dead, he has been asking me to come back and take his uh, position. I said no. A man of God said that he has initiated me. That was true. Because he has been begging me, telling me to come, I refused. And then when he died, I kept on seeing him. Even when, I'm, even when I was driving, I kept on seeing him. There was problem here and there. They were warning me, unless I come to take this seat, that I can never have peace. So in other words, you're saying that the prophecy of the man of God is nothing but the truth? Pure truth. More than truth. The man of God equally specified that the very brother the prophecy concerned that is from a country outside Nigeria. What do you have to say about it? What he said is true. I was living in China for 18 years. I just came back for the first time. And now that you've received this uh, very message of prophecy, which has spoken to you by the Spirit of God through his able servant, Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua, do you believe that the end has come to the common calamities of life you've been facing? I believe that once the God has revealed the problem through the man of God, that the problem is ended. To God be the glory. Are you a believer? I'm a believer. To God be the glory. We also want to admonish you by telling you that it is not enough to come to Jesus Christ for deliverance. The moment you are delivered, it is now in your own interest to make the word of God a standard for your life. Follow Jesus Christ all the rest of your life that you may honor him and receive his instruction in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. There is a woman, the problem you have is that when you are fighting, you use your mouth to bite. It is, has been a cause. This is the time now. Any time like this, you open your mouth, you want to bite. You have bite us, your husband. This has destroyed your home. Please come out. It's a cause. That is why I have to call you out. You bite. You don't mind. Little fight like this, you draw the person close, you want to bite come out. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. It's a serious issue. And don't be ashamed, short woman. Come here. You don't know what normally comes into you. Any time like this, you open your teeth, you want to buy it. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. And you don't know you, you, after finish biting, you now begin to regret. Yes, sir. My husband is even here. I bite him. Where is your husband? Come. There's a, there's a mark. Yes. Where you bite him? Choose that, Osakwe. Come on. Come. Let me see this, this guy. Where you are bite. Remove it. Do sit it. Do sit it. Uncle, I want to thank you for your for your endurance. Thank you very much. I think God just wants to bring you people out in this at this time. Because even you are shy to even mention that to anybody. Yes, sir. Uh, if not because he mentioned you will never come out. That is true, sir. Okay. But he wants to be delivered. He realized that it's not ordinary. Even there was a time God saved you. There was a fight. It go it go under you. Have you? Exactly, sir. Eh? I say you hold your family. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. To me, you hold your family. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Go and wait for me. Go and wait for me. Emmanuel, prophecy confirmations continue here at the Synagogue Church of All Nations. But I'm your welcome in Jesus' name. Please could you introduce yourself? My name is Alaba Sakwe, and my husband is Mr. Daniel Sakwe. I'm from a new state. You're very welcome, sir and madam. We understand that during the first service, Prophet T.B. Joshua gave you a word of prophecy. He called you out and prophesied to you. Can you share that prophetic message with us? This morning, when the man of God was prophesying, he said there is a woman here in the congregation that do bite when she's hungry. Then I was touching me that this man is talking to me, really. There's a woman... 
the problem you have is that when you are fighting, you use your mouth to bite. It is, has been a cause. This is three time now. Any time like this, you open your mouth. You want to bite. You have bite us, your husband. This have destroyed your home. Please come out. It's a cause. That is why I have to call you out. You bite. You don't mind. Little fight like this. You draw the person close. You want to bite. Come out. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. It's a serious issue. And don't be ashamed, short woman. Really, when I'm hungry, that is just the means of my defense. I do bite because I believe that I have no strength to fight. Whenever anybody fought me, I will use it. I will just use my teeth to bite the person. Amen. So you've it's explained to us that Prophet T.B. Joshua called out in the congregation and said there's a woman here who anytime she's angry or annoyed, she uses her teeth to bite people and that she has even bitten her husband. Can you confirm how this prophecy is true in your life? The prophecy is true in my life because I bite a lot of people, even my father-in-law, my husband, my brothers and sisters, people around me. When I'm hungry, I'm fighting, I, I do bite them. The man of God prophesied that there was even a time that um, God saved your husband from your anger and your biting. Can you explain what happened then? It was a long time ago. When, then we were nearly a couple when we fought. When she, I heard his thesis because of my hunger. So it's God that saved him. So you've confirmed everything that the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, said to you to be true? Yes. Amen. We'd like to hear from your husband for just a moment. Sir, you're welcome. Please, can you tell us your name again? My name is Daniel Misakwe. And Prophet TV Joshua gave a prophetic message to your wife stating that anytime she's angry or annoyed, she used to bite, even you, her husband. Can you confirm this message of prophecy? Actually, it was, it's true. When the prophecy came at once, I just looked at her and said, no, you are the person. And she smiled. I said, yeah, really? And then when she was, she came out and then um, really give out her heart the way she feels whenever she's angry and how she uses her teeth as to self-defense. Then actually those things have happened to me when we were newly couples and uh, uh, um, before this time we had a little argument and before we knew what was happening each of both of us were angry and then it had into a kind of scuffle. Before we, I knew what was happening, she has given me this same bite. He, took, he did it before, and he did it second, even up to the third time. So this is the bite mark that your wife gave you during one of your fights? Yes. Yes, it is. And your wife used to bite you any time that she's angry, is that correct? Yes. All right, so we've just heard it from the couple that any time the wife is angry, as Prophet Tibi Joshua prophesied today, any time she's angry, she uses her teeth to bite. And this is one of the bite marks she has left on the arm of her husband, confirming the words of Prophet Tibi Joshua during the service today. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. And Madame, we'd like to ask you one more time. You know, now that you have received from Jesus Christ's word of prophecy. Do you believe that it has brought freedom and breakthrough into your life and your marriage? Yes, yes. Amen. We thank God for all that you've received. We thank God for the prophecy and for the deliverance. And we want to encourage you, now that you have received from Jesus Christ, we encourage you to follow Jesus along the way, that you may receive his instruction hour by hour, so that you can make God's word the standard for your life, your actions, and your marriage in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you. There is a brother right at the gallery there. You went to hotel yesterday. The lady you met there, he has given you contrary spirit now. You are possessed. Let him put it in that way. The brother is on the gallery. You went to your hotel yesterday. It's a clear picture. You met a lady. The lady is possessed. He's sharing the evil spirit. And he has given you. Now, as you are standing now, you have evil spirit in you. And he has started. You want to destroy your life, your career. Look at the future. is bright. Just yesterday here, you went to hotel. Come out. 
Come here. It's, it's a cause. See? The little he has, after spending money, they give him evil spirits. It's process. A friend took her him to head yesterday. He said, downstairs. Yes, sir. Can you introduce yourself to us? Tell us your name and where you're from. My name is Femi Akimbode. I came from Ekiti State. During the course of the first service, the man of God gave a message of prophecy concerning you. Can you tell us what did the man of God say? Well, the man of God said that he said there is a guy here who went to hotel yesterday. He slept with a girl yesterday at hotel. There is a brother right at the gallery there. You went to hotel yesterday. The lady you met there, he has given you contrary spirit now. You are possessed. Let him put it in that way. The brother is on the gallery. You went to your hotel yesterday. It's a clear picture. You met a lady. The lady is possessed. He's sharing the evil spirit. And he has given you. Now, as you are standing now, you have evil spirit in you. And he has started. You want to destroy your life, your career. Look at you. The future is bright. Just yesterday here, you went to a hotel. Come out. So how can you confirm this word of prophecy to be true for your life? Well, the man of God said it is true. I went to a hotel yesterday. Unfortunately, I slept with that girl. When I met with the girl, the girl, she did not want me to go. She still wants me to continue with what I'm doing. But later on, I find myself that when I came to the church this morning, I find myself that I was initiated. Yes, we heard the word of prophecy from the man of God. He said that yesterday you went to the hotel where you slept with a, a woman and uh, she initiated you. When you came out to confirm, the man of God also said to you that at that time she didn't want you to leave. Can you tell us what happened? What really happened is that she asked me to stay. I told her that I'm coming. So later on, I just drove myself and left the place. I want the man of God to deliver me totally so that I will be safe. Okay, well, we thank God Almighty for that wonderful word of prophecy. And do you believe that it has brought breakthrough in your life now? I believe. Well, we thank God Almighty for the word of prophecy. And uh, we know that Jesus sees far ahead. And the good news we have is that Jesus lives. He never said goodbye. He never said there'd be no more deliverance. He never said there'd be no more breakthrough. Uh, but we want to remind you that once you receive this breakthrough, it is not enough to come just alone for the breakthrough, but once you have received it, you must continue to follow him so that you may honor him and receive his instruction in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much.